Hey guys, what's going on? Eternity Unique here with Matt from Matt's LP Adventures. And welcome to not an unboxing that was planned, let's put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> so today we're going to be looking at some Nintendo Switch stuff starting with the Nintendo Switch Lite. <laughs> uh, this is a handheld version of the Switch. This is basically the the Switch but with no dock and it it has the Joy-Cons attached to it. It's always an it's an always handheld version of the Switch. Uh, this came out in 2019, I believe, like September of 2019. But we never really did get get around to getting one until just now, until it went on sale just like last week, like a couple of days ago, yeah. and then we got it in today. So yeah, you and you got the blue one, which I I definitely approve of because that's the GameCube color version, and it's my favorite color yeah, too. And I love so. It. So we're gonna unbox this. There's we got a couple of other things that we wanted to share. Um, we're not gonna unbox this because Amber never unboxed these, but we did get the Skyward Sword of Amiibo, the Zelda and Loftwing Amiibo, and this is a special item that you could use in Skyward Sword HD, which so conveniently enough is another thing we were gonna unbox. <laughs> Skyward Sword HD. This came out Friday. And this is the HD remaster of Skyward Sword on the Wii. Mm -hmm. It has a bunch of new improvements on it, too. Um, I also picked up this, which was Sak Sakuna of Rice and Ruin, which is, I heard, was a really fun game. It's uh, basically an action a farming simulator game. Pretty much Harvest Moon, if it means RPG style, I guess. Uh, it's kind of like in a hack and slash game, kind okay. of. It's kind of like that, but it's kind of a cool game. It's made by X Seed, which Amber really likes, so that was another reason why I picked it up. And I heard a lot of people really like that game. But and the last thing we got with the Switch was uh, SanDisk stuff, which we need, you know, space for it. So yeah, we're gonna show that off. Uh, like I said before, we're not gonna unbox this because Amber keeps her amiibos in the box. So I just wanted to show you we got that. I got I got a video on my channel. Going over the Amiibo unboxing, because I got one for myself, so. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's get on the unboxing of the Switch Lite. Alright, we're going to go ahead and get on to the unboxing of this Nintendo Switch Lite here. Um, this is a kind of a cheaper version, alternative, if you don't want to get um, a Switch for $300, which I don't blame people for not wanting that, so. Uh, but the thing is, though, like I said before, this is literally just a handheld system. You, you you can't have it connect to the TV or nothing. There's no Joy Cons attached to it or nothing. So here we're gonna unbox this. I didn't even have to open anything. I brought my Exacto knife for nothing. So here's the system. It's kind of small, really. I just opened it up, and there it is. I've never actually seen a Switch Lite in person before, so they're they're a lot lighter. That's for sure. Yeah, this is really small, and that's. Yeah, that's cool. I'm going to have to take that out and do that. Let's see what the other things are in here. I think they're just the charging cables. Yeah, I was going to say there's no dock or anything. Yeah. So So here's the manual, the user manual. Make sure not there's just a charging cable. Okay, so that's, that's, that's all you really need is this stuff. And if you, you already got a switch and you, you know, you're just going to use one charging cable, you can always keep this as an extra too. Yeah, just have an extra. Let's actually see the console itself. Wow, this is a really straight-to-the-point kind of thing, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and there's the system. It's just like a regular Switch, but it's a lot more compact. I really like the sleek design of this. Do you want to show the size differences? Yeah. Uh, here's yeah. mine. Here's, here's the regular Switch. Amber's playing Animal Crossing <laughs> on it right now. But, yeah, here's the Switch. Like, oh, my gosh. That's a Look how small. tiny Look how it tiny is. tiny it is compared to that. That's pretty cool, though. This, I, I kind of want one for myself now. But, well, we're going to share this one. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool, though. It's really sleek. I really like it. It's not too bad. I love the color of this. No, it doesn't have a kickstand either, so. Yeah, it doesn't have a kickstand on the back. You couldn't, so you like, set it up and play with a pro controller or anything like that. I mean, the thing is so tiny, I don't think you would want to no. put it on the table anyways. So, uh, I bet you would probably fit in the pocket. But, yeah, there's a Switch Lite. Now, the reason why we went ahead and got one is because we're going to be going on vacation soon, and we didn't want to take one of our regular Switches with us, like mine, yeah. for example. So this is good travel size. Yeah, because the Switch I just showed off was a special edition Switch, and I kind of, it's a, it's Pokemon the Pokemon, 
let's go Eevee and Pikachu version of the Switch, and we kind of just don't want to <laughs> use it more than we need to. Yeah. So, yeah, that's the Switch Lite. That, that, that's pretty cool. I really like that. Um, anyways, let's get on to the unboxing of the other things. All right. So we're going to go ahead and unbox uh, the rest of the stuff here. We got the micro SD here, the 256 gigabyte, which one? Uh, because the Switch Lite it only comes with like 32 gigabytes of storage, and that's not very much. Well, no, and not especially Darren our, our well, no, and not especially with both accounts. There's a lot of games on both accounts, so yeah, we're gonna need a bigger memory card. And you got this. Uh, what is this? It's an adapter. Uh, adapter. Okay. So this is for your computer and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. So that's for transferring. I mean, files. are you ever gonna take the memory card out of the switch anyway? So no, I guess not. You're just gonna pretty much just uh use it to transfer your files over. Yeah. Don't do what I'm doing at home, kids. <laughs> Be very careful table. with any kind of yeah. knife. Rip I'm it. Turn off one of them so get this stuff out. Oh gosh. We just, just need the car. We don't need anything else. There you go, there's your SD card. And we're going to put this uh, on the Switch Lite. The SD card, the micro SD card slot's right here. So, if you need to know where that's at, I'm going to get a sp screen protector for that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so. I tried searching for them on Amazon, and I couldn't find a Switch Lite screen protector. I found, like, a cover case type thing, but it covers up the color. Oh, so I was like, I want to see the blue. Yeah, I want to see the blue. That's that's the whole point about it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and open up this game, too. I'll open up both these games on here. I, I haven't opened it yet, and I was kind of want to play this game later. I saw a lot of people play this game, and apparently it's selling really well in Japan. A lot of people like this game. Oh, it even has a manual in it. <gasps> that's ancient. Oh, my goodness. Look at that cover art. <laughs> I like it. It kind of reminds me of Okami a little bit. It does. Muramasa, the Demon Blade. It's oh, definitely going to be different to what I'm used to on regular Harvest Moon. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the characters and everything. It's pretty cool. There's the controls. And it's on how to play the game and everything else. Oh, that's really cool. I really like that X Seed still does manuals and stuff in their games. I noticed they did that in Story of Seasons as well. Oh, yeah. There's the game, and there's the artwork inside the box. That looks really cool. I'm going to have fun playing this game. That's for sure. And now, let's get on to Skyward Sword HD. Oh, boy. <laughs> I've been looking forward to this, because I've actually never really... I didn't mean to toss that at me. Um, I never really even played Skyward Sword all the way through. I have it. I bought it years ago, but I never bought it at launch, so I was kind of late to the party on this. So this will be the first time I actually legit do a run-through of this game. I'm kind of looking forward to it. Uh, this game, this version of the game, there's the inside. Looks pretty. The Triforce, like yeah. the thing. Yeah, and there's Fi and Link there. And all the you know, it's fitting there. that they released this version 10 years after the original release. Yeah, the original release in 2011. Mm-hmm. But this one's different because uh, you could play with motion controls and you could play with the control board. They adjusted it so you could play it with buttons. <laughs> so I might actually play through this. Because as much as I love the Wii, the motion controls were very finicky when I played it on the Wii. So it will be nice to play this game with regular control scheme. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So... We're having a lot of fun. We find a lot of stuff. Oh, no. <laughs> Goodness. Don't break it already. I don't mean to break it already. But uh yeah, we've got a lot of stuff here and we're looking forward to having a lot of fun with these Nintendo games. So. Well this is gonna be good for travel size and you know, since we go on vacation soon we could play Skyward Sword on the go for sure. Mm-hmm. I'm looking forward to it. But yeah, guys, that was the Nintendo Switch Lite unboxing and all the goodies that we had gotten along with it we're really looking forward to you testing this out it's really neat slick system and we're just really excited to actually use it on our vacation next month yeah it'll be a lot easier than carrying around the big hefty switch so all right well with that thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video we do
Take care, everyone. Bye.